there are going to be a bunch of stones. <laughs> Also, there's a main force still going on. But the problem is, Um, All right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. If we have any, I don't know our whole team yet. So I am excited to be here today, and I'm not going to take a lot of your time. When I did this before, it took about 10 minutes, so that's kind of what I'm hoping for. I am doing something I haven't done before, so bear with me if I run into a little bit of technical difficulty. All right, so if you want a life you've never had, you have to do things you've never done. That includes telling a story, telling your story. People will forget what you say, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. When we make a post on our social media, we may not think about how that impacts a person's day. But if you take photos through your, throughout your day, and you make live videos about your favorite Norwex products, and you talk about how Norwex makes a difference in your life, and maybe even talk about why you had your doubts at first. This helps you connect with your audience in a way that is more effective than just telling people to buy your products. I want to encourage you to think about how Norwex impacts your life on a daily basis. Like the fact that we don't have to go to the grocery store and buy paper towel. We don't see that necessarily as a big deal, but for a person who's always bought paper towel for their whole life, that can be a big deal. So if you sat down and talked about the cost, the cost of waiting in line to get to the grocery store to only find out they don't have any, and then the cost of buying at one time and it being good for many years, and it's more effective than paper towel, and it has a good impact on the environment. This is something that is uh, a lot more effective than just telling people to buy Norwex. Be honest. Don't try to sell them something that you don't yourself use. If you've never used Descaler, don't try to sell it. Connect with somebody who uses Descaler and find out why they like it so much. Be vulnerable. Be honest with the fact that you're trying to build this business, that you need their help, that they need you. Let's work together. And remember, the kids and puppies sell everything. So if you have a little one, hand them an Orwex cloth and a spray bottle and record them cleaning something. That's adorable. Plus, you can talk about how you don't worry about them accidentally spraying Windex in their eyes or some chemical that you're worried about them inhaling. They're just using water, and they're doing a very good job with just Norwex. Think about the men in your life or the men in your customers' lives, and think about the fact that it's a lot easier to sell them on something that has an initial cost at the forefront with a long-term savings at the end. So if a person is trying to convince somebody to use cloth diapers, initially that investment can be kind of uh, daunting. But a husband who can see that long-term, I don't, A, have to go to the store anymore to buy diapers, and B, we're not putting that in the landfill, that can be enough. Use the party cards. Even if you aren't actively using them while you're giving a live talk, or um, it, it is a good thing to use it as a platform for creating posts. Your potential is endless. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So plan your work and use the SMART acronym because it really does work. I use a Happy Planner. Um, the reason I love the Happy Planner, which I didn't really go into earlier, is that the pages are repositionable. So I can just put them right back in. And I have a hole punch, so I can add anything I want to to my planner. When I make a note, I could just say post on my Norwex page, or I could be specific about what I'm going to post. 
you have a plan and you know, well, today I'm planning on making a specific meal. And that meal calls for potatoes or carrots. I can then showcase the fruit and veg cloth, or in my case, the fruit and veg mint. And you are being specific. You're talking about what you're going to do today. So that's time sensitive. It's realistic because you're going to be doing it anyway. So the only thing that's different is you've got to remember to turn your phone on, you know, make sure it's charged, delete a bunch of photos. So there's a little bit of planning, but you need to write that down. If you can't make a video because your phone has too much stuff on it, then it doesn't make sense to write, create a video for Facebook until you also have written, clean out your phone. So that's what it's, the attainable is really important too. If you can't use your phone right now because it's busy, then you're not gonna be able to do this. So specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time sensitive. So many times we see that we will write down a thing and go, I write down lists all the time. Why am I not affected at it? If we sat down and we looked at everything that is required to do that one thing, we would be surprised at how many steps. Just doing dishes. Have you ever sat down and really written that out to see all of the steps that are required to do dishes? It's not just that I'm doing dishes. It is something that we may have been able to do on autopilot because we've done it for so many years. But if you sat down and wrote down everything that was required for that job to be done from beginning to end, you would realize, well, that's why I can't get a lot done because that's pretty time consuming. So finding shortcuts, delegating. Um, that's why I'm saying use your kids. If they're adorable, which all of our kids are, then give them water on a Norwex cloth and have them clean a mirror and talk about it. Have them sell. That stuff's adorable. If you have a dog and they like to chew on things and for some reason they like to steal your Norwex, I've, I've actually cleaned a house where there was one dog in particular that loved my Enviro one. So as soon as I got there, I would have to either put him in the kennel or put all my Norwex as high as I could because that little guy could climb. Anyway, my point is, if we are more specific about what we need to do, we will be more apt to actually achieving it. Making sure it's realistic. Like if I were to write down, make $500 in sales, well, have you even made $100 in sales this month? I have. So my next goal is to make $200. It's, it has to be realistic. So just telling yourself, I want to promote, is not enough. You have to write down why and how. If you know why, then you're halfway there. If you know, okay, I need to do this because this is going to be my income, then you know, okay, this is really important. This is a high priority, which leads me to my next slide. Well, actually, not quite. My next slide, this one, I'll go back one. The definition of discipline is saying no to everything that keeps you from saying yes to your goals. If you have something that's keeping you from achieving your goals, you've got to find a way to deal with that. So we're like, well, yeah, but our kids are constantly the issue. Well, maybe the kids need to be involved. Maybe if you sat down and you talked to them and said, hey, look, I need to make some money. What can we do? I want your help. And you would be surprised how motivated they are to help you succeed. So get them in on it. So let's go back one. When you're creating your post, you wanna remember A, I, V, A. First, you're gonna post a picture that grabs attention. Of course, in this picture, it says sale, and it says November 11th through the 26th. So it's got a time sensitive um, warning. You know, you're only gonna be able to do this for a specific amount of time. The interest is you're gonna save 50% off if you buy these products. They're normally this much, and now they're this much. The desire is, wow, they're cute. They're in cute colors. I like the way it's set up. I want that. I know those products. I like reusable bags. I like the chenille cloth. Then 
if I if all I did was post this picture without posting either a message button or my link to my office suite website, I would lose out on off a, a potential sale. You want to make that your website as easy as you possibly can for your clients to find. Don't give them any reason, any excuse to say, ah, well, it's too much work. If they can click on it and buy it right then while they're thinking about it, you're more likely to get sales. So every time you make a post, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, it doesn't matter. Make sure you're using hashtags and make sure your hashtags are fun and, and are capturing attention. Once you, you would be really surprised how many people click on those hashtags and then follow through and look at everything that is underneath that hashtag. Make sure it's interesting, make sure that there's desire there and that's something you can build on and you can build on that desire. Of, you can have this too. I love this, you should have this. And then push this button to get it. So because this is important, I'm gonna read it again. The definition of discipline is saying no to everything that keeps you from saying yes to your goals. Don't reinvent the wheel. So I'm not telling you to go spend hours on Canva and create all your own graphics. None of us really have time to do that. If you do, that's great. And plus, there are a lot of restrictions. Norwix is very clear that they need to go through and be approved through their process. And if you don't know how to do that, please contact Jamie or I and we can help you through that. It is important to make sure that your images are in compliant, um, in compliance. So when you're on your uh, Norwex face, Facebook page or your business social media page, you don't want it to always be business, business, business. You want to tell a story. Again, remember what I started off with, People will forget what you say, but they will never forget how you made them feel. If you make sure that you've got them encouraged, they feel positive, they know that this is the solution, they're going to be more apt to go, okay, I know this works for her. She's able to do this. I need to find out more. How is she able to do this? And that's one of the reasons why these team meetings are so important. So that if you get discouraged, if you feel like you're failing, you will have support system helping you to reach your goals. So use the pictures to tell a story. Take pictures as you use Norwex and remember these three letters, always be creating. If you catch yourself throughout your day feeling guilty because you've been scrolling on your phone, you're being distracted because everything's just overwhelming. You can ask yourself, you know what, am I consuming content or am I creating content? Because we say we don't have the time for it, but I'd be really surprised if you didn't actually have the time. It's just that we're not very aware of the times when we're distracted because we're in too much pain or we're too scared to face the things that are scary. So I want to encourage you. If you only make one goal this week, my goal and my encouragement for you is to create at least one new piece of content. If you can't do it a day, which I really am going to encourage, if you want to see your business grow, you want to do this at least once a day and get your kids involved. This is a learning experience for them. Do you know how much business acumen they will have if they've helped you build your business? If you had a, a general store back in the 18th century, your, your kids would be helping you. If you were selling flour and whatnot, they would learn everything about making change and all of those things. So it's a very good educational opportunity. Don't, count, don't sell yourself short. They're very smart, they're very cute, and there's a reason that Hollywood uses kids because they're cute. So, even if it's a mis it feels like it's a mistake and they don't say the right thing or they burp or they do something hilarious, you don't know, you might have made just the next cutest viral video. So try it, just, you know, try it. If you don't like it, then you know, because you've tried it. But you might be surprised at how it reaches someone who may have, who may not get to see their grandkids because of where we're at right now. They might be missing their family 
and your videos keep them happy. Your posts keep them encouraged and give them hope for a better day. So create something that's valuable, something that is bearing fruit. And remember that we're in this together. If you have questions, if you have concerns, if you've run into something and you just don't know what to do, please reach out for Jamie or me. I'm willing to help um, because we're a team and we all have one common goal, and that is to create safe havens by selling and using Norwex. So thank you for your time. Have a great day. May the fourth be with you.